そのデータベースの情報を解読するには同じく IBN5100 を使うほかないということだ The only way to decrypt that database is to use an IBM 5100 of our own なんでそうわかるのに How do you know that? とある筋からの情報だと I have my sources I don't drop Teeter's name I have no doubt this genius girl would laugh if I did Carissa puts a finger to her lip, deep in thought. Setting the IBM 5100 on such a side. I want to see proof that CERNs are really doing that sort of research. True, we didn't get any definite proof of CERNs at time travel research last time we hacked them. The rule. Will it take, take much longer to find the service admin's account? Actually, I was just thinking about doing that. It shouldn't take more than a half day, I guess. There we go. I'll wait until then. The way? It's already getting dark. Why not go home for tonight and come back tomorrow morning? No thanks, I'll wait. I want to know as soon as possible, even if it's, if it's just a microsecond sooner. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. You're already fascinated by the conspiracy. You can't help but want to know what lies at the heart of CERN. Kaku, please let me cry. So, Kyoma-san, there were times you couldn't protect those important to you, weren't there? I'm sorry, but even though I don't know anything about it, imagining Kyoma-san in such pain made me cry. P.S. I was crying, so I couldn't do any practice swings. Oh. Okay. If what you guys are saying is true, then this isn't something to joke about. CERN is the world's top research inst institution. If they're doing secret experiments without publishing their results, they're making fools of scientists the world over. That's only if it's true, though. She finishes by emphasizing that point again. Doesn't look like she believes us. Anyway, Daru, I'll leave it to you. According to Daru's research, the IBM 5100 weighs 25 kilos. For now, we'll leave it on a shelf in the development room. 25 kilos? Oh, well, I guess that is quite a lot for a computer. We carry the cardboard box to the room, half dragging it. Carissa follows. Can you show me the phone way? Indeed, I can. Want to experiment? You haven't been able to send another email to the past, right? The past yet, right? Do you know why? I can always shake my head. Let's run some tests. Kurisu looks around the development room. Man, 
have a ton of junk. It's not junk. Since you're new to the Future Gadget lab Laboratory, I'll explain. These are the glorious fruits of our science, the Future Gadgets. Future gadgets 1 to 7 are stored here. The phone wave with which you are already familiar is gadget number 8. Future gadgets, huh? Carissa Kasha picks future gadget 4, mode snake, up from the shelf and stares at it. Hey, isn't this a weapon? Future gadget number four, Mode Snake, designed after a Claymore landmine, is an instant humidifier. How confusing. Insert water and turn the power on, and in mere seconds, it generates a thick cloud of steam. So it's young, I thought so. Kurisu sighs and returns a mode snake to the shelf. I'm borrowing this. Without waiting for a reply, she grabs the ruse and never worn lab coat from the shelf and puts it on gallantly. gallantly. Wow. She looks like a professional. It's just not to write without a lab coat. Overcome with emotion, I seize Kurisu's hand and grasp it firmly. Hey! Assistant, you get it, don't you? Get what? Let go. If you're gonna do science, you need a lab coat, right? I told Daru over and over, but he wouldn't wear one. But my assistant is different. She puts it on before I even said anything. I knew you were meant for this, Christina. You're the best assistant a mad scientist could ask for. I don't know if that's supposed to be a compliment, but it's coming off as an insult. Now let go. She shakes off my hand and turns her back to me. I'm giving you that lab coat to commemorate your joining the lab. Don't worry, it's never been worn. Or maybe this fateful encounter between you and that lab coat was decided by destiny long ago. The rule not wearing it was just another in inevitability. This is the choice of stains. Shut up, so we can start the experiment. <laughs> Kurisu thrusts both hands into her lab coat's pockets, then bends down to look at the time machine now placed underneath the table. The previous experiment broke the te table and even left a hole in the floor. There's a danger that will happen again if we successfully reproduce the discharge phenomenon. phenomenon. So unfortunately, we'll have to leave it on the floor for now. Okay. 
So you haven't tampered with the microwave at all.